Hi guys, welcome back to Firmacraft with me, Sid, and uh, I've been doing a little bit of work off camera. I've been going around collecting quartzite rock from the area, and let me show you. I have started building the foundations of my home, which is going to be my forging home. Uh, this is in quartzite cobble. Uh, I'm going to have two doors, just in case I get cornered by anything unpleasant. And I, I had the idea that I want a hot tub. So in the house itself, I'm going to have a section of this. Um, I just need some of that now. I'll explain how to I get this smooth rock uh, in a moment. But I was just I was starting to build across here. And I suddenly noticed that. And it's like, how the hell did I miss that? Copper. I don't know whether it's a big... Thing or oh, well, I'm going to drown here before I mine it. Well, that was one. Is there any more? Or do I even want to be greedy? Well, we'll work our way down and just have a double check of the area. Um, but yeah, so today I want to do a little bit of work on uh, getting the house built. I want to get my hide. I Also, while I was working, a bloody bear came out of there. So I'm down to... I've got 10 arrows because I use basically the whole stack of peppering the bear. This bow in this game is a, a lot weaker than uh, the bow in vanilla. Um, so the range of it, it took, it took me a while to get get the range and figure out exactly what I was uh, aiming to do. Let's have a look at that. This is perfect. Okay, so how I get these um, blocks is basically... In fact, let me get rid of you first. And then get rid of you, and you, and you. If I chop this block out here, that block is supported by that block. If I do the same here, that block is supported by that block. But if I knock this block out, you'll notice the block drops as a heavy rhyolite stone. So similarly, if I do that one, that should get me two. I am standing back because sometimes, on a rare occasion, the entire stack collapses. Uh, and you don't want that, you know, half a ton of stone on your head is going to offend. Nine times out of ten anyway. Uh, and need to, I can't be done with that, that will annoy me. I don't like floaty, floaty stone. So is there any more? Let me just check. Go for a little swim down here. There's a no. Aha. Uh, uh -huh. That probably wasn't the best idea, was it? Um... This is going to be fun. So yeah, so I'm going to... Um, there wasn't... I don't think there's any more. Let me just check. Found... Oh, is that Sphalerite? Oh, it is. Ah, so is that. Hmm. Well, I won't complain. Oh, nearly time to sleep. It is time to sleep, in fact. I'm also munching my way through my rotting meat. I haven't harvested the crops as yet. Um, just because while they're on there, they're fresh. Uh, and I've got a lot of food that's going off, so I'm trying to save that until winter time. So, yeah, we've got a whole bunch. I've got copper, I've got small sphalerite, I've got a heavy sphalerite, so I've found other stuff about, so, yeah, we're doing quite well for metal at the moment. We may have enough to make the chisel we need to build, start building some of the stuff we want for the house. I'm going to need to chop down a whole load of trees, so I'm probably going to want to make a... Well, no, probably about it. I am going to want to make... 
a uh, thing. Now let me just check here. Traces, medium sample, nothing of interest, medium sample. Oh god, I can't. Uh, come here. Get myself back over there. Nothing, nothing. I would never have guessed that that was phalarite. Oh well. I'm sure there are better samples to be had. Uh, where's my, my quartzite? We'll just start continue filling this hole in. Um, so this is going to take a while to do, but eventually what we'll end up with is this quartzite cobble. Uh, and that will come all the way around here, and then we're going to go to. We're going to have to either get some brick technology going on, and that was the other thing I wanted to find out, wasn't it? Uh, let me make a hammer. Damn it, I've done it wrong. I may still have done it wrong. Nope, got it. It's a while since I made one of those. Craft a hammer, stick in a quartzite rock, it's not, that's a pain. And realite isn't either. I need to find some chalk uh, to make flux, which will allow me to make mortar, which will allow me to make bricks. Um, so I'm going to continue on just getting some of the basics done. Um, I'm going to also go and store some of this stuff and maybe have a hunt around for some chalk rock if I can find it but um, I will be back with you in a little while. Okay, I'm not having much look, looking for chalk, although I have um, found a few more minerals kicking around. Um, so we're going to have to probably go on a bit of a longer journey looking for something to make flux with. But there are a few things before we go on a longer journey that we really do... Wow, that dog in that window. Um, that we really do need to do. So... The first thing we need to make, I think, no, no, alright, I need to double check that about this, that, we need to make some barrels, um, so I'm going to need one, two, three, I believe, uh, I'll make four, just to be on the safe side, whoops, but, but, and the other thing I need is a bucket, which I need to check the recipe for. Um, because we need to process these hides to make things. Uh, and it's a fairly long process, so uh, what time is it now? Oh, we've got plenty of time yet. I'm just going to go and check the recipe for the bucket, and I will be right back with you. Right, it is. It's not as difficult. It is that that's our bucket recipe now unlike normal minecraft you can't um move water source blocks around with this bucket so that's the first thing that has changed um but you can put uh, basically you put your uh, your bucket into the what's the word into the barrels that's the word i'm looking for so we'll just go and set these up now. Fortunately, I can't pr process set this process running until I have. I'm looking for the word flux to, to make the lime water. Um, so I definitely need to find this chalk. However, what we can do is we can get started with the old. fill uh, one of these up, well we can fill several of these up, but we're going to want to make some tannin, uh, which is the last stage of the process. And it's this is a little bit tedious, but you know, again, this is a it's more realistic mod, pa uh, mod than, uh, than most. It, it takes certain aspects of the game really to the nth degree. So, uh, yeah, we'll get this going, and we can put a plank, I think it's a log, actually, we put in there. 
So let me just find a log. Bunk. And we'll pop the log in and seal it. And that is now sealed. We can't do anything with it. Um, so the process basically goes lime water, then you scrape it, and then you um, wash it in water. So you pop it in a barrel of water, and then you and so on, and then you put it into the tannin as the final process part of that process, and you get your leather. Um, so not quite the same as you know punching a cow until it drop dies, and then just wearing its stinking rotten flesh on your body. Um, so what I am going to need to do, uh, let me take 16 of those, uh, uh, I want those, I could do with some torches, so what did I do with my, well let's have a look, oh that's dirt, so we'll pile that in there, do 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 do, I can get rid of that I think, and that, not that I'm afraid. You can go, oh, I'll keep you, because I need you to test things with. Uh, you I can throw away, because I don't want that. 16, bow and arrow, some food, maybe 93 and 21. That's actually not too bad, I can, I can work with that. So, grab myself a log. Stick it on the fire and light the fire, and let's just make a few torch. Uh, I suppose I should sleep actually. Hopefully that fire. Oh, of course it will go out, won't it? Or will it? No, it's not too bad actually. I thought that would have worked like everything else. One of the ways that Terra Firma Craft works is you, you can't kind of cheat the system. Not that, you know, obviously you wouldn't want to. Um, but for example, when you get baby animals. Um, oh god, it's going down, going down. Give me another log. When you get baby animals, they, um, they have basically a timestamp on them. So... You can't just go, okay, we've got baby animals, now I'll do uh, set time day, set time day. If you do that, you're going to screw your entire system up, because you will set your clock right back to the first day. And, yeah, it's horrendous. Just, it's not even worth trying to fiddle with times and dates. Oh, God, are you going out again? Have I missed you? I need better logs for this. Eight will do, eight will do. Um, let me quickly make an axe, and then we are going to go hunting for Red October. No, uh, we're going to go hunting for, oh god, I've got, I really could do with, uh, let's make another chest. Another chest. Uh, pop you there, and now we've got more space. So now we can get rid of that, 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 those, that. Keep those, that can come, that comes down. They go on there. Got my axe, got my thing, got my knife. Oh, and get rid of the seeds. Now, I'm fairly certain when I went that way I didn't see any chalk, so... There is, um, let me just double check, there is, where are we? I'll find you, you've got to be somewhere. Let me just, uh, crafting differences. Just need to double check what the, this four, I think, types. Mortar is, mortar is made with, uh, Flux and sand, and flux can be got from chalk, dolomite, limestone, or marble. So that is what we are looking for. Um, and basically you hammer the rocks. So what I am thinking is, I can either go over back to the original island we went to, um, and should we get stuck there, well, not should, when we get stuck there, we can stay overnight in our little hay hut, like we did on the previous occasion. Uh, better eat. 
And the nice thing is foraging should be easier at this season because we're just in uh, early September at the moment. So quite a lot of the fruit bushes and stuff are ripe. So should we see any? And food's running a bit low. We're not quite so... Oh no, your salt water. God damn it. I need some fresh water before we head out. You can't go anywhere without fresh. Do -do. Let me just grab that. And uh, what we'll do is I'll continue round the mountain, um, which is where we where I hold upon the island on a previous episode, and then uh, we'll rejoin you when we get to something new and or interesting. Uh, so, back in a moment. Okay, I didn't have to come far. Just through here. Dolomite. Oh, and don't piss him off. So we can grab. That's not dolomite. That is things. And you can tell when the, thing, the grass colour changes as much as anything else. So we are going to basically scavenge this place. Six, uh, because the, each one of these will make me two flux, which is not a lot. Um, especially concerned, I think they make mortar with sand, which I've got some of, uh, and there's some interesting caves. I'm going to have a look around anyway, because the, while this is my primary objective, um, it's, you know, good to know what you've got around yourself, should you need to uh, go hunting for stuff later. Man, these are some big caves. Keep on getting... I had a zombie or two jump out of caves at me and chase me, going, you know, burning, going... Nom, nom, nom. Um, which is probably one of the nicest sounds in Minecraft, actually. The sounds of zombies burning in daylight. Whoa. Crap. Got to be careful around these buggers. Um, well, not played with that. <laughs> I have deep fear of ravines ever since I died in that one last episode. And it wasn't even a deep one. Uh, small sample of lignite. Well, that means there might be some lignite around here. Which I think is possibly something to do with... Uh, oh, hello. What are you? Ow. What are you? Native platinum. Otherwise known as crap. Because it has no use in game. So why bother even cluttering my inventory with it? Right, well I'm going to... Oh god, I'm going to continue peeking around. And uh, I will be back in a bit. Okay, well I've spotted something over there. I'll start going up to it, but there was too much badness in the area. It was uh, a creeper, a skeleton, and a baby zombie. So I kind of wandered over this way just to try and let them have time to despawn before I go over. I just noticed this a spider over there as well, just for, for good measure. But I found limestone as well, which is another source of flux. So this area here is limestone. There's a, a, I found a small limonite over there. I can't remember what that's for. I think it might be something to do with steel, but I'll have to look that up. But I'm just wanting to creep over here. Literally creep. Creepity creep creep. Uh, avoiding hopefully the bad guys. Hopefully they have gone. And my stepson is singing in the background over there. Um... So, what's this? Oh, it's coal. Okay. Uh, I'll not grab that right now, because, as I say, there's much badness in this area. So, I'm going to continue on looking, and I'll be back with you in a little while. Okay, we got back safely. I've just set um, an, a batch of bismuth bronze going for a chisel. Uh, now, this one is... That's tannin. That's empty, that's empty, that's empty. So if I take my hammer and either dolomite or limestone, doesn't really matter, 
it will make this flux. So I want to do probably a few of those. Uh, and I get my bucket and I get some water and then I put the water with the flux and that will give me lime water which I can pop in here and I can repeat this repeatedly that's the, obviously the meaning of the word repeat and what we will end up with is a barrel full of lime water which is good because that's what we want so I'm going to just get this ready and then once we've done that we basically we pop the hides in there and they seal it and well pop a hide in there I should say seal it and the world is a good and happy place I will I'll get one of lime water going um, and I will be back with you once we've got something else worthwhile but uh, to look at but hopefully we should have some leather by the end of this episode so see you in a moment all right, the um, kiln's done, so we can make our chisel, which is uh, going to be very useful. And let's uh, pop that in there, get my chisel out, and combine it with a stick. And this has got several uses. So, for example, if you have your hammer, you have to have a hammer and a chisel on the hot bar and hit mode so you can change to stair slab uh, so that's smooth stone stair slab and this one is detailed mode um, let me find something so if I go mode and do that that gives me smooth stone which I can now dig up and get the the stone for which is going to be really useful however what I want to do with it is I want to make some bricks because I'm going to need a chimney in there for my little fireplace and a little stone fireplace well that's the plan anyway so what have I got well, lots of this real light but I've got more quartzite than anything so we'll go with that and we go and stick the quartzite and that in there and basically we can make quartzite bricks and I think I need uh, I'll just make a bunch for now because it's not using a lot of durability on the thing in fact I've got it, let's do the lot there we go and then what you need to do is let me find the uh, the recipe again because I am terrible otherwise we need to make mortar and mortar is made with flux a bit of bucket water and some sand so the leather's cooking by the way well cooking you know processing shall we say no oh, bear with me a sec All right sorry about that mother was on the phone uh it's getting dark so we better sleep because i don't want i came out this out of the last night's sleep and walked out the window and there was man there was so much badness running around but fortunately it all burnt Right, well, I made another chest. I've got a bit of flux. Uh, I need to find my sand. The sooner, oh, there we go. We'll have a few of those. That should be enough for now, just so we can go through how we do this. Let me just, I'm always paranoid when I come out that something's going to hiss and blow the crap out of me. So this is a large soaked hide. We can have a look at this for starters. Um, so we put that in a crafting grid with our knife over it and that gives us a large scraped hide uh, and the scra large scraped hide we put into a water barrel and a seal and then we leave it now this is probably not going to be done this episode because when that's finished we need to do that um, but in the meantime what I can do is um, get the small hide I can't remember what I got that from the large hide was from the bear obviously um, whack that in with the lime water and seal that and that cooking at the same time so what we need to do is we need to go and grab some water in fact we need to eat see these berries I'm just kind of well I'm just eating what I've got and when I haven't got anything on me I'm just taking something off the crops for now but we are in, where are we? Early autumn, so I'm going to have to harvest this lot soon. I'd rather not do it too soon. But 
because um, one of the things I want to do in here is build a cold room underground. So I want to dig down and make a cellar, basically. Oh, anyway, I'm digressing, uh, which is fairly typical for me, admittedly. So we take wooden bucket, some sand and some lime water, and that makes us 16 mortar. We take our bricks, and make a little cross, and then we put some mortar in between those, and that makes us quartzite bricks which we can pop in the corner here and um, these will actually defy gravity unlike these so i'm um, thinking we'll have quartzite brick corners some of this going on probably wooden for the next two levels i don't know what wood yet i need to chop a load down um and at this side we'll have a fireplace which will be all of these all these bricks so that's the plan. Um, so next episode, hopefully we'll have the leather done. Um, I will hopefully have more progress on this done. Um, I'm going to do a lot of off-camera stuff, digging, chopping trees and, and stuff like that, because, you know, who wants to watch someone chop trees, right? And uh, these, these will also become bricks. Let me... Uh, oh, man... Yeah, you get you get four for each thing. So the doorways will be brick because again I need to have well planks will also go over. So that will be our entrance way, and hopefully we'll have something on there because winter's on the way. Um, I'm going to need to get some barrels with um, with just plain water in, so I can I think I can. Oh, no, you can't. Uh, it's an out. That's it. Yeah, so let me just fill that. If I were to pop this in here. I can do an out and I can take a bucket out or in. Um, and if I drink this, I think. No, I could be wrong, but I think. Yeah, I can get water out that way. Um, so when winter comes, this water is going to freeze and it's going to be an absolute pig to get fresh water. So that's going to be vital, but I need to start thinking about winter. I'm going to need to chop down trees. I'm going to need firewood. I'm going to need all sorts of things. Um, and I also need to think about mining. I've got quite a few points marked out now where I believe there should be a, um, metal deposit so we'll hopefully get on with that in the next episode or two as well and, and actually get some proper supplies of metal rather than the leavings we're picking up from the floor so anyway guys thanks for watching and uh, until next time see you soon bye for now